Today I'm gonna to teach you how to transform into Priscilla Presley. Start it out with a medium coverage foundation and I wanna do this look of hers today. You probably noticed that when I do these transformations, I usually start with the brows. That's because they're generally easy to emulate and they also give you such a good like framing reference for the face and the rest of the transformation. We have similar brow shapes, but hers are quite a bit higher than mine. So I just concealed underneath in that triangular shape and went in with my brow pencil above that concealer. She has very full cheeks, so I'm actually placing my contour a little bit lower than I usually would, and then we're gonna pop this out with highlight. Contour here where my jawline sticks out more than hers, and then she has a slight chin cleft. It's only evident in some pictures, so just pop in a little bit of light contour right down the center of my chin. Her nose is super iconic. I'm highlighting way wider than I usually would to try to get her wider nose bridge. She has a super upturned nose, so I achieved that by pretty much contouring out the whole bottom length of my nose. And don't forget this little line that goes up to her nose tip. For her nose tip, I'm placing it a lot higher than I usually would, and I'm really squaring it off, matching the width of the bridge of her nose. And I think the definition in her fill trim, I think that's what this is called above the lip, is really key to her facial structure. White cream base all over the eyes. One of my favorite things about doing these retro makeup recreations is looking at the little details and catching things that we think are trends that we started in 2022, but actually they've been done like in the 1960s. And this makeup here, it's Priscilla's Inner Corner Eyeliner. White in the waterline and then black liner right along that with this little double wing. I popped in this little cut crease shadow detail that she has. With this look, you can be a little bit more sloppy than usual with some of the liner and upper lid details because it's gonna be dominated by really big lashes. Where you place your lash can have a big impact on your eye shape. This makeup's giving me like way too much siren shape and we need to get that round eye shape that Priscilla has back. To do this, I place the lash way closer to my inner corner than I usually would and I cut the lash so it doesn't even go all the way to my outer corner. Coral blush and I'm gonna smile and pop it on there so then it kind of drops down like hers is in the picture. I want to keep her super white under eye so I'm gonna use this RCMA no color powder and Huda Beauty everywhere else. Underlining my lips with a pink liner. I combine a few colors to get this nude lip. You can't tell me that she's not doing that same nude lip trend where it's like the ombre effect. Tap concealer in the bottom of your lip. For the outfit, we have this beautiful vintage Lily Pulitzer dress. Wig on, I'm gonna give myself a big poof, but I'm really sad because this wig is so pretty. Next, we're gonna add the flowers. So I got these white roses. Pop some eyelash glue on the back and let that dry down a little bit so it gets sticky. And I'm adding some roses to the links of the hair. We'll do a little Lana tribute who's known to be heavily inspired by Priscilla. Blue contacts, look at the difference that these make. Added some white boots, and here is the final look. I love how this turned out. Let me know who you want to see next. Bye!